Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today, for the holiday season, we're going to be making festive holiday eggnog. Now, this is an adult version, <clears throat> so there is going to be alcohol in this. And it's going to be required for this recipe because this is a no-cook recipe. Um, so if you're looking for something that's non-alcoholic, uh, there's plenty. There's plenty of recipes out uh, on YouTube. You, to, you know, you can non-alcoholic eggnog or cook cook recipe, and and you're you're on your way. Okay, so let's get started. Ingredients: <clears throat> You're gonna need eggs. I've got four. Um, between four and six, depending on how much you're making. This is probably yields roughly about a pitcher. Um, uh, sugar, um, about a cup, roughly, uh, um, half and half, um, and don't skimp on the half and half. It's this is not dietetic. I've tried it with uh, skim, one, two percent, even whole milk. It's just not as good. It doesn't have the same mouthfeel. Uh, and then for the adult sanitary measures, a cup of your favorite bourbon blended whiskey, and a cup of your favorite rum, um, dark rum. And uh, some people use cognac, uh, some people use, um, uh, I think I there's a recipe I saw that they use tequila, um, which is interesting. Anyway, all right, so let's get started. <clears throat> we'll begin with putting the four eggs in. Try to keep eggshells out if you can. You want to make this recipe probably at least a day in advance because the um, it's going to go into a pitcher, into a glass pitcher, glass vessel, and you want to you want to give the alcohol time to uh, sanitize, kill the bacteria, kill the the salmonella. And grab my handy whisk. Some recipes have you um, separating the egg yolks out. And I guess you could probably do that. I, I don't know. I, you know I, like to keep, I like to keep my recipes simple. So you whisk this up. Did forget one ingredient that also I think really helps the flavor, and that's going to be just a splash of vanilla. Or I should say vanilla extract. If you have a vanilla bean, it's probably even better. Um, you can just have the extract. So, all right, I'm going to put just a just a drop in. You can see I don't use this that much. This is more than a drop. All right. <clears throat> then what you want to do is add your sugar, typically about a cup. Um, you don't want the sugar to sit very long in the egg mixture without incorporating it. Otherwise, the sugar will have a tendency to burn your egg mixture. So when you put the, you know, don't don't take a phone call, don't drop the sugar in and walk away. Um, you want to try to incorporate that as quickly as you can into the egg mixture. You want to kind of get it all dissolved. And you can kind of hear and feel it. Try to. Make sure the sugar is all dissolved. I think that's pretty good. Then, I'm going to take just a just a pinch. Um, people add nutmeg 
I'm not a big fan of nutmeg, so I'm actually adding just a little bit of cinnamon. Um, but yeah, if you like nutmeg, probably fresh grated nutmeg would be delicious in this. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I guess you could do a could do a full quart. I'm gonna yeah, I'll do a pint. I'm not real exact on the nice thing about this recipe is it's pretty forgiving. You don't have to be real exact on the measurements. And then I get the It all incorporated. And then I'm going to add a cup of my whiskey. That's about a cup. I'm going to add a cup of my fresh dark rum. this up so this becomes all incorporated it smells real good it smells real good All right, I'm gonna grab a nice glass pitcher. And we're gonna transfer this right into the pitcher. I'm gonna do this off camera because I don't wanna spill on camera. And voila, I'm just going to cover this with uh, saran wrap, put it in the fridge, let it do its thing, and off you go. I probably could, you probably could double the recipe if you wanted to fill the pitcher, put it on the side of the party. I'm just having a few people over, so I don't want to hang around too long. But um, yeah, enjoy, happy holidays, and uh, have a great time. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. All right, bye.